In 1999, NASA lost a $125 million spacecraft over a simple math mistake. Yes, you heard that right. A decimal error? A faulty calculation? No. The entire Mars mission failed because one team used metric units and the other used imperial. This single miscommunication led to the complete destruction of the Mars Climate Orbiter before it even got a chance to do its job. But how could such a well-funded, highly technical space mission fall apart over something so basic? Was it pure negligence? A simple oversight? Or a bigger problem within NASA? Well, buckle up, because this story is more shocking than you think. Let's rewind to the 1990s. NASA was on a roll, sending missions to Mars with ambitious goals. The Mars Climate Orbiter was part of the Mars Surveyor 98 program, designed to study the red planet's climate, atmosphere, and dust patterns. Launched on December 11, 1998, the orbiter traveled over 400 million miles towards Mars. Its job? To enter orbit, circle the planet, and send back crucial data that could help future missions including ones involving humans. It was a highly anticipated mission until everything went horribly wrong. After nearly 10 months of travel, the Mars Climate Orbiter was set to enter the Martian atmosphere on September 23, 1999. NASA's mission control was monitoring everything closely. This was a high-takes moment. But then something seemed off. The orbiter was coming in too low much lower than planned. Instead of safely entering orbit, it plunged into Mars' atmosphere at the wrong angle. Within minutes, NASA lost all communication. The Mars Climate Orbiter was gone. At first, engineers scrambled to find an explanation. A system failure? A glitch in the software? No one expected what they discovered next. A simple conversion error had doomed the mission. One engineering team was working in metric units, while another used imperial units. This mismatch meant the calculations for the spacecraft's trajectory were completely wrong. Instead of entering orbit at a safe altitude of 140 to 150 kilometers above Mars, the orbiter dipped down to 57 kilometers way too low to survive. At that height, the atmosphere was dense enough to destroy the spacecraft. Years of planning. 125 million dollars all lost over a basic math mistake now you might be thinking how could nasa with its top scientists and engineers make such an obvious mistake well the issue boiled down to miscommunication between two teams lockheed martin the company that built the spacecraft used the imperial system for force calculations nasa's jet propulsion laboratory jpl which handled navigation, used the metric system. Neither team realized the mismatch. Lockheed Martin sent force data in pounds. JPL assumed it was in newtons and plugged the numbers into their calculations as is. No one converted them. This small miscalculation snowballed into a huge problem. Every tiny course correction was just slightly off but over millions of miles, those small errors added up. By the time the orbiter reached Mars, it was on a doomed trajectory. NASA was embarrassed. This was a high-profile failure, and the space agency had to explain how something so basic had slipped through the cracks. An investigation followed, and NASA admitted that their quality control had been lacking. There was no system in place to catch unit mismatches between different teams. They also found out that several warning signs had been ignored. Engineers had noticed that the spacecraft was slightly off course months before it arrived at Mars. But because the deviations were small, no one raised major concerns. It was a painful lesson, but it forced NASA to change how they operated. So, what did NASA do after this disaster? NASA introduced mandatory unit checks across all projects. Now, every single calculation involving measurements had to be double-checked and cross-referenced. Teams were now required to have clearer documentation and coordination to avoid similar misunderstandings. NASA added software systems to catch unit mismatches automatically before they caused real problems. Since then, NASA has had far fewer errors like this. 
They made sure the metric versus imperial mistake would never happen again. Now, you might be wondering could such a simple mistake still happen today? Well, it's less likely but not impossible. In fact, even today, the US is one of the few countries still using the imperial system. NASA, however, has moved almost entirely to metric but when working with external contractors, they still have to be extra careful about unit conversions. The Mars Climate Orbiter failure was a wake-up call. A $125 million mistake that could have been easily prevented. Space exploration is hard. Even the smallest errors can lead to catastrophic failures. But that's why attention to detail is everything. The Mars Climate Orbiter was a painful lesson for NASA, but it also pushed space engineering forward. Today, every spacecraft, every mission, and every calculation is checked and double-checked because one wrong unit can mean the difference between success and disaster. So, what do you think? Should the US finally switch to the metric system to avoid mistakes like this? Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video interesting, don't forget to like and subscribe for more mind-blowing space stories. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.